Hello, hello to everyone out there in the Boom Beach universe. We are back with a demo Boom Beach video, and it's a great day to boom. So welcome back everybody to another Warships video. This is episode 2 on our road to glory. So currently we're sitting at rank 14 as you can see. And we just reached that earlier today. Now yesterday was a bit of a quiet day for me on the Warships. I, uh, I didn't have a lot of time to really push. And there was a lot of up and down yesterday. So as you can see my log is pretty, pretty dirty right now. Um, we uh, just, it wasn't a good day for pushing. I was just very up and down. Also, I was busy with my other account, so if you don't know, I'm currently pushing VP on my main account, which is hovering around 1500 VP, so that obviously takes a lot of time. Then I have another account around 1125 VP, which I'm pretty active on that one as well. And then I have a lot of lower level accounts that I'm trying to uh, level up to. So it was just a combination of me playing poorly, some really good base layouts, and just being busy on my other account, so I really didn't get to push too far yesterday. So I think where we left off in the last video, I was at rank... 12 and we were saving up some tokens and keys to uh, get to the third engine room uh, So yeah, like I said, we're sitting at 14 right now. The logs been very up and down um, Yeah, it's just been yeah, it's been it's been weird so people have been just there's been some really strong base layouts This is what I'm rocking now um, Let's show a few replays actually so let's show a victory in the all shard defeat. So this is me it looks like so I decided to split my troops up. Um, sometimes it's a good option, sometimes it's just not. But as you can see, we we didn't even get take that out, that uh, top engine room, we were just shy. We did get this one out. Uh, we tried to flare around, uh, but it just didn't work. But you ended up beating this person on destruction. I think they had like 28%, I had 39. Yeah, so we have a quick look at their replay as well. But at this level, the bases are all very, very similar, and all the stats are exactly the same. So it gets pretty, um, it gets a bit blah, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, they just sort of fizzled out so close to the end. So close. But, uh, it is what it is, I guess. So, yes, with that being said, we've had enough at two engine rooms. It's just getting a bit boring now and a bit grindy. Um, check out my win percentage just for a second if we can. 71%, so I think we're at 82% win rate, so we're still doing alright, but it's just like, I don't know, I'm not enjoying it as much. So, this is what we're looking at right now for two engine rooms, so we've got a heavies maxed. I did go mines fully maxed, and I wasn't going to do that, I was just going to save the keys and the tokens. But the mines actually seem to slow down the heavies a little bit, you know, like, I don't know. That combined with the machine guns, it seems to be pretty decent, so that's why I did that. I'm pretty happy with the troop damage maxing that out. I did go through Crineers now. It's honestly a waste of 18 keys. Um, but I wanted to get to the troop damage and that's what I did. So uh, this is yeah, my two engine room layout. And this is what we're going to work on now. So we're going to crack open the third engine room. Booyah. So we get all this extra space. So let's just throw out that engine room up in the corner there. Now I'm not sure what sort of layout I'm going to do just this second but uh, let's get opening some things so we have to go through smoke obviously we're definitely going to grab bullets boom mines seem pretty dirty and we have 48 keys left now initially I was trying to get to this um, this artillery now we're going to be a bit shy but what I think I might do is like, I might go to troop health because if I can get 50% troop health on heavies that's going to be pretty insane uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to unlock what are we going to do? Let's get, let's get the troop health. I think that's going to be a good option. Um, and then let's go to... Oh, I'm, just, I'm not sure which way to go. I'm going to do Gumbo Energy. Am I? Or should I do Shocks? I think Gumbo Energy, because then I can do extra energy drinks on bullets. Now let's pump a couple levels into bullets. So here's level 2. So energy levels... So for another 272,000, let's get them up to level 4. Level 4 energy drink is pretty decent. Troop health. One level on that's pretty cheap. We don't need to do smokes. They're pretty decent as they are. Uh, let's see where we're going to go next. Now, I think I can come back here and max out my gumbo energy because that's going to be beneficial. Flares, I think are fine at level 3 right now. 
got 818,000 keys left. Where do we go? So let's pump one into gunboat. Let's do another into health. Because the health also affects bullet, which is awesome. Um, 476,000. Decisions, decisions. Now, let's just throw another tick into the gumbo energy. It leaves us with 253,000. I think I'm okay with that right now. Or do I want to do another troop health? Let's risk it. Oh, I probably should have done mines actually as well, shouldn't I? Yeah, so I guess the next lot of uh, upgrades I'll do mines. So that is what we have right now. So what I'm going to do is do a little short little time lapse of me trying to construct a base on the fly so we will run that now and be back in just a second Alright, so here is a bit of a poor base design right now, but I'm not really sure how I'm gonna uh, how I'm gonna set it up. So I might actually have to go and watch a few videos myself and see how people are setting up three engine room bases, or I'll just wait and see how this next person attacks me and see what happens there. So we're gonna jump into some live attacks now. We're going to hopefully um, we're gonna hopefully be able to collect a chest and maybe do a, a few upgrades. So I guess people are doing this, a similar thing to me. Um, so what are we going to do? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Bullet up into this top right hand corner Get a flare onto the engine room Now we've got a decent amount of gumbo energy which I think is going to be beneficial So uh, we could probably do a few energy drinks so Flare's going to run out so we're going to throw another flare Bullet's going to take a bit of damage it looks like but let's throw out our heavies now and hopefully they can clear towards the HQ. Alright, let's get an energy drink going. Hopefully we can take that down pretty quickly, which we can, it looks like. We're going to get onto this first engine room. Still a decent amount of gumboot engine, so let's actually get Bullet going with us. And let's flare over to this other HQ. And so we actually have Bullet for another energy drink. So let's get him fl uh, energy drinked up. We'll flare onto the HQ. And we're going to take it down in 3 minutes and 8 seconds. Pretty happy with that, actually. I'm not sure where they st when they started in relation to me. But, uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. So let's see where we where we ended up. Hey, we 6 second victory. We'll take that any day of the week. Right, so let's... Uh, actually, let's go back and see what they did on us. So I imagine they're going to attack us the same way. Oh, so they took bullet that way. And they're going to smoke. Oh, I actually have smoke as well. I, should have, I forgot about that. So he's going to see a bullet there. They're going to get to the engine room. And then they've got a long walk over there. I guess that's one way to go. But, uh, yeah, a little bit slower. A little bit slower than me. So, yeah, we'll take the victory there. And the benefit of going to three engine rooms is we get our chest a lot quicker. So it's only going to take three victories, hopefully, to, uh, to do that. So... We're actually currently on a win streak as well, which is going to be great for us to uh, to level up. So let's jump into the next attack now and see what we're coming up against. Yeah, so all these bases seem pretty similar. We do have smoke, so I can probably take advantage of that. But um, yeah, so I guess we're just going to do the same thing. Like, why not? Because it worked the last time, so let's just rinse and repeat I guess so let's get bullet drop there and then as soon as he starts turning to the left to go towards those machine guns we will drop our flare so let's drop our flare now get him over there and it looks like it's going to take a couple of flares actually to get him over there so as soon as that gets pretty close let's drop that flare onto the HQ and then as his health starts going down let's throw an energy drink oh we can hold off I guess actually energy drink now let's throw our troops out He's going to take that down pretty quickly, so then we can flare. 
Oh, too early. That's always going to be an issue. Alright, so now we can flare onto the HQ. Oops. Oh, this is all going, all going terribly right now. And then onto this next entrance. So, a few missed flares and just bad news all the way around. So, uh, we'll get another energy drink on bullets, get another flare down just for fun. And this is a, a very poor time from us. Poorly executed. 256. Ah, oh, well. So, we're going to keep ticking over and getting our, ch our uh, engine rooms, which is good because it gets a chest faster. But that was just. That was pretty terrible. 310, yeah. So, that was the same time we got last time, I think. Or, or yeah, a little bit faster than what we did last time. Let's see how he took us down. Yeah, like maybe I need to just. Oh, so how did he do it? So he's got shocks, so he just went all the way around, I guess. Seemed pretty quick, actually, didn't it? Maybe I need to move my engine room down a little bit to create a bit of space. So let's put that all the way on the corner there. Put these all the way around. Couple mines for fun, why not? And let's see what we can do. So, so this is interesting. So all these mines are going to be essentially wasted on that because, yeah, this could be a pretty decent sort of a, yeah. So let's just crack bullet down there. I need to be a bit better on my flares. So let's just drop a flare now because we can. Now we should hopefully avoid most of those mines. And then as soon as we get that second flare on, which we'll do that now. Alright, so as soon as that starts getting low, we can drop it. Drop all our heavies, and so hopefully by the time they get there, the flare will run out, which it does. So let's energy drink that. Let's get... Oh, I, I missed the... Oh, ah. It's all gone from bad to worse. I'm just doing terrible, terrible flares. And it's just not going to be a good time. So, second engine room taken out. Now, let's get energy drink going. So, they just took us out. If we lose by a few seconds here, I'm going to be so annoyed with myself. All right, let's get a flare going down. And there we go. So, 250 is pretty much the same time as last time. So, they probably got 310 on us. Let's see what happened. But yeah, missing that or having a, making a mistake on that flare definitely slowed me down a lot. 3-7, yeah, so I probably... It's so annoying when I do that. Alright, so let's move back into 13. So we can claim a chest, that's good. So let's throw a few more boom mines out and see if that can slow everybody down a bit. Alright, so how many more do we have? Four. Throw two there, and we'll throw two here. And let's give it another whirl. So we'll jump into another battle. So they got very low level defenses. Wow. Troop health 30%, troop damage 50%, building health 50%. So we're going to try and do the same thing once again. Let's get bullet going. Now, I'm not sure when the best time is to drop the energy drink. Let's throw another flare. Energy drink right about now. Let's get the heavies out. And I'm not going to touch the flare until bullet takes that out. There we go. Now we can get onto that uh, HQ or the engine room, I should say. Let's do another energy drink on bullet. I probably could have split my heavies up as well, now that I think about it. So they got me down to one engine room. Bullet is racing down there. Throw some extra flares to hopefully speed things up. And three minutes and four seconds. So it's much better than before. I mean, it's not actually that much better. It's like eight seconds faster than the last attack, but still not our best work. So let's see what happened with this. We are going to get the victory, so I'm pretty happy about that. So we only won by four odd seconds, but we'll take it. We'll take it. So it seems like 
three interims is going to be a bit of a dogfight as well. He'll take a four second victory, gets us back into 14. So yeah, I mean I don't really have too much else to talk about on this video. I'm definitely going to go back to the drawing board and work on a new base. Because this doesn't really seem to be slowing anybody down. Uh, but yeah, I mean I'm just going to keep grinding away. I'm not sure what my next move on the tech tree is going to be actually now that I think about it. Definitely going to probably max out the, uh, the gumbo energy and the troop health. And we're actually not far away from a shock bomb. So even a, even a level 1 shock bomb at 6 seconds is going to be you know something I think. Maybe. What's up here? More defenses. Yeah, I guess, and then I guess the next way to go is to get more defenses. Flamethrowers could be beneficial. Troop damage is going to be beneficial. Now I am locked to 3 engine rooms until I get my main account to uh, HQ12. So just upgraded to HQ11, so that's something I guess. But uh, I guess we'll see where we end up. So we're at, yeah, we're at 14. We're pretty close to golden, so I'm going to be pretty happy to get to golden. Still 25 days left. Long, long time to go. So uh, anyway, yeah, that's going to be it. That's going to be enough waffling on for me from one day. Um, definitely let me know what you think of the video and where you think I can make improvements. I'm definitely not the best warshipper, and like I said, it's I think I said in the last video, it's been a long time since I've posted warships and really really cracked in and started playing so yeah i can use the help but um yeah i'm gonna leave things here before i keep going so thank you very much for watching thank you for tuning in remember to like comment and subscribe and the demo is out of here